Hi, my name is Michaela Reddy, Solution Fleet at Webpage Test, and this is Unlocking WebPerf. Throughout this video series, we're going to be meeting with different members of the Webpage Test team to go over web performance tips and best practices. Thanks for joining, and let's get started. Hi, uh, so today we are joined here by Scott Gell on the Webpage Test team. Hey, Scott, how are you? Hey, Michaela, I'm doing well. Awesome. Uh, good to hear. Um, what is it that you do over on the Webpage Test team? Yeah, so I'm a senior experience engineer on the web page test team, which means I help plan upcoming features uh, that will be implemented in the tool. And I get to work on the design and engineering involved in making those features a reality. So talking about web page test, web page test obviously has a number of different features and capabilities. What is it about web page test that makes it unique? And how could you use web page test to um, best measure your overall user experience? Mm, yeah, that's a good question. So I think uh, web page test is unique among other great performance tools out there today in that it offers a combination of real browsing environments in locations around the world. So for example, using web page test, you can test how a website loads in Firefox in Germany on a laptop with a network speed connection, for example, or perhaps on a Android device in India and in Chrome over 4G or 3G connection speeds. So by offering the ability to change your test environment between browsers like Edge or Safari or Firefox, as well as locations and speeds, you really get a broader understanding of how your site is performing for people around the world. And additionally, uh, we're offering more ways to assess how a site is serving its user base uh, from perspectives beyond just speed to also things like reliability and accessibility, say to folks who browse the web using assistive technology. So all of these ideas contribute to a deeper understanding of user experience. Awesome, thank you so much. So that's super helpful. for you. Uh, after running a web page test test, obviously there's a ton of different data and metrics that you can look at. What's the first thing that you would look at after you get your test result? Yeah, great question. So when I first get a web page test test result, I like to look at some key performance metrics uh, and start to get an idea of whether or not there are major bottlenecks that are causing them to happen later than they should or if there are gaps between them. Um, so in particular, I like to start by looking at start render uh, and first contentful paint to see how quickly a server can start to deliver some usable content um, and paint it on the, onto the screen. Um, and uh, if there are any blocking resources in the way of letting the page render as soon as it can after initial assets start to uh, deliver to the device. Um, from there, I like to look at metrics like largest contentful paint and eventually the time that it takes for a page to become interactive and not just look that way. So based on these initial metrics, I can start to uh, figure out where to dive in next and, and take a deeper look at the bottom next. Awesome. Thank you. That's super helpful. <laughs> 